just another lot of hitchhikers. That's what they look like to motorists speeding towards Hull. You can't blame the drivers. They're keeping their eyes on the road the way Ernie Marples wants them to. Little do they know they're having their legs pulled because these apparent hitchhikers, so blandly ignored, are five of the most famous young men in show business, the Rolling Stones. Some of these motorists will be kicking themselves when they learn they missed the chance of a lifetime of getting to know them. A Hull cinema, whether they arrive on foot or by Rolls Royce, is the destination of the Rolling Stones. They're giving a show here, so the cinema is the mecca of pop lovers from miles around. The wise ones have queued up for hours. For them, it's the big night of their lives. Fans from the start, at last they're actually going to see the Rolling Stones. The boys give an impromptu press conference. And if the reporters get much out of them, they'll be lucky. The Stones shot up to the stratosphere of fame. Their music heard everywhere, their offbeat appearance known to millions. Here in the flesh, Keith Richard and Brian Jones. And the drummer, Charlie Watts. Brian Jones doing nicely with a girl reporter. Happy to oblige, Mick Jagger, Keith Richard, Brian Jones, Charlie Watts. Doors open at last, a full house. In fact, it could have been filled ten times over. For hundreds of the fans, it's a new kind of thrill, the live show. The Rolling Stones will be so near, you could almost touch them. Come inside the dressing room. Wherever they go, and you get a lot of travelling in this business, the fan mail follows them around, and it all gets answered. Bill Wyman dressing and reading at the same time. Brian Jones tuning up. Matter of seconds now, and they'll be on stage. And just listen to that audience. Just have the game. 